What is up, y'all? It is Kevin Redline. I'm coming with a quick video. I wanted to holler at y'all about something. And make. I want to get y'all take on it. Now, this is going to sound crazy. And obviously, this is not built on no hype because nobody's talking about him. I haven't even thought about him in, until this moment right now. Um, Man, when the Browns inevitably get to the playoffs, could y'all see them actually get into the bowl now hear me out before y'all y'all wild me out flip out on me and all this other stuff but since obj has gotten hurt nobody talks about her there hasn't been much drama not saying that obj caused the drama or anything like that he might he might have been their 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 uh lead to drama film but i really haven't heard any drama there hasn't been any controversy and they are winning the game, the tough games that they would normally lose. Those last minute games in which they would do something to mess up. They are winning those games. They are winning those games. Uh, and because nobody's talking about them, they could be underestimated. Like when they get to the playoffs, they could be that team that everybody underestimates. And what are they doing right now? They are running the ball well. And that's, of course, one of the ways that you take out the Chiefs. Um you keep Mahomes off the field. And granted, I know <laughs> their play is up and down, but, I mean, they could really be that one team that catches everybody off guard because they're not being covered. They're not the popular team. Nobody really is really out to get them right now. Nobody's out. Like, they don't have a target on their back. The Ravens had a target on their back. So every team is out to embarrass the Ravens because the Ravens embarrassed Everybody they came up against last year, except for the Chiefs. And the Browns got them once. But just think about it. And to be completely honest, I mean, I can't stand their fans, but I would much rather, if I had to make a choice between the Browns and the Steelers, I'm picking Browns, man. If I got if I got to watch a, a rival get to the bowl, and possibly win it. I would much rather the Browns, man. Sheesh. Because if I got to deal with another Steelers Super Bowl, oof. Man. Nah, I ain't trying to deal with that. But let me know what y'all think. That's just an observation from, yeah, you know, I'm no professional. That's just something I thought about. Like, the Browns are flying under the radar. Like, had they been, I think they were 8-3 and three right now, something like that. I think they're 8-3. and three. I could be wrong. They, I think they eight and three. I this is how you know I don't keep track of them, but at the same time, they are winning. Had they been eight and three last year, I guarantee you everybody would have been going crazy. They still would have been everybody's Super Bowl pick and all that other madness. But because no, because they lost OBJ, I don't know if it's because. Let me not say that. But since they lost OBJ, nobody's talking about the Browns, even though they're winning. They are winning. Browns are winning. They're playing winning football right now. <sighs> Who knows? Let me know what y'all think. I I could see it happening. I could be wrong. They could be bouncing the first round. Who knows? But it's real. To me, it, it seems like a you know something that could actually happen. But we'll see. At the end of the day, go Ravens. Whether they start Lamar or Trace. Oh, yeah, I forgot they're starting Lamar. But hey, no matter what happens, go Ravens. I'm always going to vote for my Raven, uh, root for my Ravens event or win. Excuse me, I'm going to get my words all twisted up. I'm always going to root for the Ravens to win. Uh, but I could totally see, you know, the Browns going deep in the playoffs. But I could be wrong. But we'll see in a few weeks. Uh, everybody, have a good holiday. I'll holler at y'all later.